Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with some more optic football. And that is pick your team number 12. 12 box, pick your team 12 from jazbeeshobbyland.com and a chance at a transcendent spot if you bought at least two teams. So here are the people that are involved in this break. Good luck to these folks. Thanks for hanging with me on a Thursday. Appreciate it. So we did one optic case earlier today. And towards the end of the night, we're doing an optic case. So great. I like the optics. I like the optics of that. That's right, folks. You come for the breaks, you stay for the for the bad puns. And you know what else you can stay for, ladies and gentlemen? You can stay for uh, <laughs> you can stay for me handicapping women's figure skating for the Olympics. Now, yeah, I did it. We learned all about I forgot her name already. Brandy something, I think. We learned all about Brandy from Chicago. I think probably will make the make the Olympic team. We'll handicap that. We'll handicap the luge, bobsledding. Curtis, who is up in Canada, Calgary. Curtis, tell me how much betting goes on in Canada for the Winter Olympics. There's all the 12 boxes right there. I'm sure a lot. For, I don't know, what else do they have? Skeet shooting. What else do they have? What else do they have in the, in, in the winter? I don't know what else they have in the winter. Almost none that you know of. <laughs> no, they definitely do. You guys definitely do. I know you do. Um, the luge, I'm sure bobsledding. There's a lot of, lot of action on bobsledding. Um... No, you're not really into the whole betting scene, so you wouldn't know. I'm sure. I'm sure. And you can. You can. There's someone taking action on everything, Curtis. Even the Winter Olympics. I know they are. Uh, do I know of any good uh, Chicago card shops? I do not know. But maybe someone in that area may, may can let you know. I do. I do know a good card shop called JaspiesHobbyland.com. That's a good one. Right, four hundred four. I see. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. You, I'm sure. There's betting on curling. The curling scene is huge. The curling scene is huge. I'm sure someone is taking action on curling. Someone's like, yeah, the the money line on Canada in curling. You know, plus seven fifty. You know what I mean? No, they're pretty good. Maybe they're minus five hundred. Huh? I don't know how good, I don't know who's good at curling or not. But I'm sure someone's, <laughs> Nino, who's also up in, so just hockey, also up in Canada. Winter Olympics. I know this is a football break, and we usually like to stay on topic, but I don't know. It's late at night. I'm a little tired, so we're gonna we're gonna go. And we've been talking football all day, so we're gonna go a little different. Uh, 2014 Winter Olympics, which was where was it? Oh, Sochi. That's right. It was in Russia. In Russia, da. Um, I'm looking for events here. What, what about what about events? Bobsleigh. Okay, curling. Who won curling? I don't know who won curling. Someone tell me who won who won the gold, silver, and bronze in curling last year. Oh, there it is. Oh, luge. We we gotta take action on luge. Speed skating. That's a fun one to do. Anyhow, box number one. We're gonna start off with Demarius Thomas out of twenty-five. Twenty-three out of twenty-five. That is for the Broncos. Oppo, Joe Mojo for Steve Freeze. And our first autograph is Matthew Days. It's kind of early for an autograph. We might see a hot box here. A hot, hot box. 
Nick Stanley with the Browns. 25 out of 50 on that one. There's his teammate. There's TD Terrell Davis. Gave me nightmares. Never wanted to see him. There's Jared Davis. 74 out of 199. It is a hot box. Nice. Buddha Baker printing his name on the sticker there. That goes to James. I wasn't following directions. James Scheisler with that one. That is 45 out of 99. Paul T. saying, what do we think about American football in the Olympics? That would be like having Australian rules football in the Olympics. It doesn't make sense. I mean, really, no one else plays it but us. No one else plays Australian rules football but them. Out of 149... For the Bills, Illusions, Peterman, and Kelly. I don't think it would make really make a lot of sense. Is this number? No, it's not. Oh, did Canada win the gold in curling? Did they really? Are you serious? Not those upstart Norwegians? Um, well, I, I would probably... 117 out of 299, Amara Darbo for the Seahawks. Well, I'll set... I'll set Canada points. Boo. I don't like how they put the, the code. Anyway, um, 250 points. Any any other points that come out, we'll, we'll uh, combine them into one lot and randomize them to one person at the end of the break. All right, so, so Canada money line to win the curling competition. There's Des Bryant. That is for Michael Butler. I'll set it at like minus 1,000. How about that? Marlon Humphrey for the Purple Birds. That is for Victor Z. There's Joe Flacco to 149. Randall Cobb for the Packers out of 149. That's from Mark. And that's that. And we'll sleeve up all of these uh, all of these parallels and top load them before they get shipped out to you. Oh, is that right? You beat us in the last two Olympics for the gold and curling? Man. It's payback time, Curtis. I will be I I will be watching curling during the Winter Olympics. You know I, I will be intently watching that to make sure that the Americans that we can give you we can deliver some revenge in curling. This time it's personal, Curtis. This time it's personal. No way, no way you'll take us for a third Olympics in a row on that curling. Don't worry, we got the we have the Freddie Adu of curling. We've got we've got some young upstart, some young curling prodigies coming up in the United States. Curtis, watch out. We've got the Kobe Bryant, the Kevin Garnett of curling coming up. We got the Michael Owen of of curling. Fernando Torres, El Nino. We got got those guys, those young guys. Oh, come on. The U.S. hasn't even meddled in curling for a while. Sleeping Giants. Poke the bear, Curtis. You get, you're going to get the claws. Something like that. Haven't even meddled in curling for a while. It's our year. It's our year. You know? Yeah, we'll make a little wager, Curtis. We'll, we'll put some action down on, on curling. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Next box. Carlos Henderson. 
That's out of 25. 13 out of 25 for Steve Fries. And the Broncos, a little opposite Joe Mojo. These lower numbered parallels I'll sleeve up right away. Oh, I'm sure someone's taking action on gold medal totals. We might have to do that too. I don't even know when I don't even know when the Olympics are. When is it? When's it? I know it's soon. I know it's soon. I just don't know what date it starts. Oh, it starts February 9th. February 9th. I'm, I'm shocked. I am stunned. Karen Steele with the Minnesota Vikings. This might be like her third or fourth train whistle of the day. Gets a one of one elite series Dalvin Cook autograph. DC4. That's pretty nice. Karen, you know what that means. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That is pretty strong. We'll show that off right there. There's Chris Godwin for the Buccaneers out of 149. Wow. Carson Palmer. 59 out of 99, retired Carson Palmer. It's kind of it's kind of going to be weird not seeing Carson Palmer in the NFL. That goes to James. Illusions for the Steelers, 19 out of 99. That 1999, that's Prince. All that Winter Olympics talk, and all of a sudden that Dalvin Cook pops out of here. Andy Dalton out of 299. Le'Veon Bell out of 149 for the Steelers. Seventy out of one ninety nine to Marcus Walker. Only R Mike. Only R Mike with with a reaction. Nice, he says. It is nice. No one else. The peanut gives is no one else watching? I guess not. If a one on one is pulled and no one is there to see it, does it exist? Um, RKE404, I saw your question earlier. You bought three Todd Gurley autographed 16 by 20 pictures with PSA before the season. Do you think they'll go up? Um, sure. I mean, I, I don't know how well autographed photographs do, generally speaking. I, I don't know if the, if the market fluctuation is that great. But I do know that, I mean, obviously the, his rookie autos, his rookie cards, are definitely going to see some boost in value, especially especially after this season, especially if he wins uh, the MVP, the AP MVP. That'll be kind of a big deal. And that's right, R. Mike. Oh, and uh, sorry, RKE404. What's the best Bowman investment? Bowman draft baseball. That's my that that would be my advice. That's my guess. Um, I would say. I would say I can't open this. There we go. Yeah, that would be the best. That would be the best investment there, because that's where a lot of the top baseball players' first autographs are. That's where like, you know, Mike Trout out of a similar set like that. Steven Strasburg a number of years ago. Chris Bryant, guys like that, huge, huge dollars, huge money for for those early for those early cards, their first autographs. 
Oh yeah, our mic, no reaction on this. No, I guess no one's into it. I guess all of our Minnesota fans went to bed. Everyone who enjoys one of ones all went to bed. I guess no one just cares. It's like you your ACL is done, forget it. Out of sight, out of mind, I suppose. Are you not entertained, everybody? No one's entertained. Uh, Ray, what's going on? Adam is in the house. Joe, what do you think of the five quarterbacks going... What do I think of five quarterbacks going in the top 20 of the draft? That's what the experts are saying. Um, what do I think? I think that would be awesome. Do you know how awesome next year's football pro products are going to be with five quarterbacks in the top 20? That is good for the hobby. I want that. No linemen. Sorry, linemen. No linemen. No defensive players. I just want running backs and quarterbacks. I just want running backs and quarterbacks in the first round. That's it. That's good for the hobby. That's what I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for five quarterbacks in the top five. We got Adam Shaheen for the Bears. Might be another hot box here. Adam Shaheen for the Bears. That goes to Mark Glassman. It is better than a Brashad Perriman one of one, Curtis, out of 50. There's Samaj P. Ryan for Nick Stanley out of 199. Maybe everyone's asleep. There's Hassan Reddick for James and the Cardinals. Allen Robinson, poor Allen Robinson at 299. Could use him in the playoffs. Sweetness, double three out of 149. Nice one for the Bears. Nice insert there for Mark. Kareem Hunt, 69 out of 149 for the Chiefs. That'll be for Yesenia. And then we've got Malik Hooker. Nice Malik Hooker going to the Colts. Steve Freeze. Nice. Great defensive back for the Indianapolis. So, Ray, you're saying that the – Adam is saying that the Chargers are going QB at 17. Now, that would be interesting. There's Shelton Gibson out of 25. Check that out of 35. Baker Mayfield under Philip Rivers. That that'd be an interesting. That'd be interesting. That would definitely give the the Chargers a, a, a different sort of look at QB. I mean, but it looks like Philip Rivers can can be around for like ages, at a two ninety nine. But yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess you know, no no time better than now to start developing a quarterback under Philip Rivers. Curtis saying you can stand most breaks, but this. Oh, and Bowman Draft are 0% interesting to you. Too many cards, nothing really for you to get hyped on. Well, if this was like Series 1 hockey, Curtis, Seri Series 1 speed skating, right, R. Mike? 91 out of 149. It's Mike Williams. Joe Mixon, 7 out of 50. That'll go to the Bengals. That'll be for Joseph Johns. There you go. Mark Bellinger is excited about the. Yeah, that is a one of one Dalvin Cook autograph for the Minnesota Vikings. We're showing it off right now. We just pulled it just like a box ago. All right, next box coming up. A little bit. Got a nice hot box there. And that's, that obviously is the case hit. All right, Jordan O saying, you bought a, uh, oh, you, you got into the, got into some prison basketball breaks. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, once this break is over, we've got about, about about 40 minutes left in this break. Once it's over, you know, we will have another hour left in the break. That's plenty of time to do at least another prison basketball break. So I'm holding out hope that, um, that after this, now I know it's a little quiet in the room right now, but after this, we can do uh, some prison basketball to close out the last hour of our broadcast. 
Nick's saying he Dalvin needs a little work on that autograph. He does. He does, but he's a rookie though. Cut him some slack. You know, you can't have a Hall of Fame autograph from the get-go. Is that right? Adam, where, where did you hear that news? Adam is suggesting that uh, that apparently Kraft, Belichick, and Brady are all done after this year. That sounds like fake news to me. No way, no way an NFL owner ever gives up ownership state of a team. I don't think Brady's done either. Maybe Brady might be done. Belichick, I don't think Belichick's done. Ownership, definitely not done. Mark saying I haven't been into breaks lately, but uh, the Vikings have been. Oh, the Vikings, yeah. Well, hey, we have we have a, a lot of a lot of Minnesota fans here. We we do well in the Midwest. Um, I did not hear that David Carr has concerns about playing for John Gruden. David Carr doesn't play football anymore. Is David Carr trying to get back into football? No, I know you meant Derek. Um, I mean, any player, I think, when, when it, whenever you have a new job at your, or a new boss at your job, I think that'll always make anybody nervous. Deonta Foreman, rated rookie, black parallel. Nice one for the Texans. That'll be for Brian Berry. Nine out of 25. There's Deonta Foreman again. No ink on this one, but out of 199. So Adam's saying, not all together, but the trio itself. Oh, they want Bel So So Brady and Kraft want Belichick gone. What is is Brady is Brady sore that that his like personal trainer or snake oil salesman got out got outed? Ousted, that is. Ousted from the sidelines and whatnot. Deshaun Jackson out of 149. Oh, so Brady went to Kraft and cried about the Garoppolo trade. And then Brissett was given up for nothing. Um, where are you hearing this? Where Where are you hearing this? This sounds This sounds crazy. Forty four out of fifty. Danelle Pumphrey for the Eagles. Dak Prescott ninety five out of ninety nine. That sounds That sounds like a wild story. It's the rookies insert thirty seven out of one forty nine. I will tell you this though. There There is no way that Robert Kraft is uh, giving up ownership for that team. No way any owner does that. Owners aren't getting out of football. Out of 149, Sidney Jones. Colin Coward had a huge story on this? Well, Colin Cowherd makes a lot of crazy statements these days. Unless he's forced out, that's true. That's true. But why would he get forced out? That is true, Mark Bellinger. The Vikings were available for a lot longer in breaks towards the beginning of this season. Now that they're, now that they're like 13-game winners. Now that Case Keenum looks like looks like an MVP. Yeah, they, they seem to sell a little bit more quickly. Well, if all that's true, if what Colin Coward is saying is true, that that would be that would be a crazy. That would be pretty. That would be a pretty insane story.
But then you have, to, you, you, you have to wonder, you have to wonder why, you know, you have to wonder why they would, uh, well, like, who is leaking the story? If, if the story is true, who's, who's leaking the story? That's always interesting, too. It's, it's Bill Belichick is the type of, type of person who doesn't want any of this to be leaked before the playoffs, or not certainly during, during the playoffs. So where, where is this information coming from? Sources, you know what I mean? That'll be, that'll be the interesting thing. But even then, I mean, I guess it's enough to it's enough to stir the pot, you know. It's enough to create a lot of distractions for the Patriots. Any Patriots fans out there hearing any of this news? I mean, if this is talking being talked about by Colin Cowherd nationally, this must be gaining a lot of a lot of talk in the New England area. So if there's anybody out there still awake, I know it's late. Let me know. And shed, shed some additional light on this. All right, next box. Flash 80, 115 out of 149. Speaking of, Tom Brady, there he is. Well, what are the where's Bleacher Report getting this thirty-three out of fifty? Bleacher Report, Bleacher Report's reporting it too. Where who's the source? Like, is it sources close to the team, or is it someone actually talking? Is it just sort of like a former player got a text or something like that, or what's the deal? Brad Kaya. Brad Kaya's just happy to have a job. He's not. He's not complaining to owners about anything. Oh, you're 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 in Massachusetts. I thought you're you're Chargers guy. So I thought. So that goes to the Lions. Brad Kaya not stirring the pot. That goes to Nick Stanley. Julian Edelman out of one ninety nine. What does Julian Edelman have to say about this? So you actually heard about heard about it from work and then went home and saw the story. It's crazy. Well, if it's true, it all go, sports is all it all goes in cycles, ladies and gentlemen. You know, the Patriots going weren't going to be winning a million games and contending for the Super Bowl all the time. One of these days it's not going to happen. Same with the Warriors, it's not going to happen. Patrick Mahomes 87 out of 99, that goes to the Chiefs. Who has the Chiefs? There's Jordan Howard. Chiefs go to uh, Yesenia. This Jordan Howard retro card goes to Mark Glassman and the Bears. There's Jordan Leggett out of 299 for the Jets. That'll be for Victor Z. We got Elijah McGuire for the Jets, 13 out of 25. That'll go to Victor Z and the Jets. All right, we're almost halfway there. Well, I guess we'll I guess we'll see what other details unfold on that. Yeah, Belichick's not going to give any additional information during a press conference. There has been a little bit of, uh, I guess there has been some inklings of, of trouble in, in, in paradise in Foxborough. But, and why would Brady care what Garoppolo and Brissett was traded for? You know what I mean? Unless he's angling for ownership of the team, then, then that would be something, but... I don't know why he would care. 
his career is going to be over in a few years. So he's going to retire at some point. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got here. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. We're getting there. Again, they're a little sluggish late at night, but. Trying to make our way through this break as quickly as possible. There's Matt Ryan, out of 299. Matty Ice going to Michael Butler. And the next auto is, we got Jabril Peppers, nice. It's a nice spicy hit for Nick Stanley and the Browns. Peppers, 13 out of 35. We've got Charles Harris for the Dolphins out of 99. We've got LT. There's Gronk, out of 149. Well, if the, if the Patriots are falling apart, I'm sure the Raiders will make an offer for Rob Gronkowski. Gronk, come play for the Vegas Raiders. Can you imagine Gronkowski playing for the Las Vegas Raiders? This guy would go nuts in Vegas. You know, he'd catch like 15 passes, 120 yards, two touchdowns, and then just crush in Vegas. And then come back the next week, 15 catches, 200 yards, a few touchdowns, just crushing Vegas. This is Nathan Peterman. 132 out of 199, Andrew Luck. Is he going to be back? This press conference didn't. He'd go broke, says R. Mike. 78 out of 149. That's all right. The Raiders will overpay for him. They'll give him a nice big extension. Man. 46 out of 299, D.D. Westbrook. Uh, where legends can be made in the playoffs, D.D. Westbrook. Good luck. All right. Next box. I think I want to see that happen. I want to see Gronkowski as a Las Vegas Raider. Next box, chugging along. Good luck, everybody. Does John Gruden, does anyone know, does John Gruden still do uh, commercials for the Hooters restaurant? Does he still do that? I don't remember if I saw one recently. I know he used to, right? I'm pretty sure he used to do commercials for Hooters. I'm not sure if he still does. Box 
Good luck, everyone. All right. Let's keep going here. Our Darius Stewart. Rookies insert, 004 out of 149. The Juice, O.J. Howard, out of 299 for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Karen with the Buccaneers. Richard Sherman not numbered. Then we've got Marvin Jones Jr., 88 out of 99. Detroit Lions. Lions, Nick Stanley with the Lions. Remember, we, we will randomize these cards left, right. Keep that there to remind me. And 21 out of 25, Ryan Switzer is your rated rookie autograph. Nice. Pulled his one of one the other night, too. Hotbox, Chris Wormley for the Purple Birds. That goes to Victor Z. It's Carson Wentz, poor Carson Wentz. It's Morton Anderson for the Saints. more points coming up. So that'll be part of that points lot. And there's Stacy Coley out of 149 for the Vikings. It's another one for Karen. So there's one of those two autos plus the points hot box. There's a, those are one of them too. We'll set, we'll set a old Dalvin right here. Dalvin Cook will be back. I'm sure of it. Young player. Plenty of time to recover. Is Carson Wentz my MVP or Todd Gurley? That's that's gonna be difficult, I think. I, I would lean, I would lean Todd Gurley. But man, it, it, you know, it's one of those things where if Carson Wentz played like that the last few games or whatever, I'm sure he would have solidified it. But I think there's a lot of attention on just on just how just shocking of a turnaround the Rams were, and I think. Todd Gurley is a big part of that, so I think that might that storyline might come into play. But man, it's it's hard to. I mean, it's gonna be like the the AP MVP award has always been like quarterbacks or running backs, right? I don't think it's I don't think the Associated Press MVP award has ever been a wide receiver. So it's not gonna be a wide receiver. It's gonna be a quarterback or a running back. Um, there's a lot of rookies, so I think a lot of the rookies are going to be battling for those spots. I don't think they're going to win the uh, the, uh, the main MVP award type things. So, so yeah, it's got to be that. I mean, Carson Wentz, Todd Gurley. Should be Case Keenum, though, right? What would the Vikings be without Case, Case Keenum? Talk about valuable. Christopher F. asking uh, Kamara or Hunt, what, for, for Offensive Rookie of the Year? Everyone's saying uh, Kareem Hunt because of the rushing record or rushing title this year. But um, he did, did have some, I mean, did have some soft games in the middle of the season. The Flash, John Ross, 94 out of 149. That'll go to the Bengals. That one will be for Joseph Johns. 
R. Mike likes Camara. Aaron Rodgers at a 299. That will be for the Packers, Mark. There's Julio. Julio Jones for the Dirty Birds. 20 out of 25. Julio Jones is on track. If they're clicking against the Rams, that could be a road W for the Falcons when they're here in L.A. I wonder how much playoff tickets are. Probably, probably really expensive right now. Andy Dalton out of 149. That goes to the Bengals. Joseph Johns with that. Did you hear that nice story by the uh, by the uh, Bills fans who were donating money to uh, Andy Dalton's charity, thanking them for beating the uh, the Ravens? They generated a ton of money. That's a nice feel good story. Marvin Jones Jr. out of 99 for the Lions. Dick Vitale, fans of the game. 37 out of 99. That's Nick Stanley and the Redskins. You don't see a lot of the fans of the game inserts. Oh, Mike Williams is your autograph. Nice. Rated rookie auto, Mike Williams. I don't think we've seen a lot of Mike Williamses in this optic. This is optic 12. 12 cases of optic. How many Mike Williams rated rookie autos have we seen? I don't think very many. 8 out of 35. Nice low number on that one, too. Chargers. Brian Berry with the Bolts. There's Great Iron Kings. Dalvin Cook. Chris Wormley out of 149 for the Ravens. And that is that. Nice. Four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. I only see a couple of orders coming in, so if you want to try to squeeze in another quick break after this, definitely get your spots going on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Otherwise, we might call it a little bit, a little bit earlier. We did a, we got a lot of work done today, folks. When we started earlier today, almost eight hours ago or seven hours ago, got a great start to the day. Did a lot of breaks today. We've been busy all week, so thank you very much, everybody. Tomorrow will be Friday. I, I break two more nights, Friday and Saturday. So I'm sure the next two nights will be will also be very busy. On Saturday, we'll be watching. Uh, we'll be watching a lot of football together. Boys and girls, we'll watch football together, we'll talk football, we'll discuss the games, break open some cases, and we'll have a lot of fun on Saturday. It should be a blast. But, folks, we'll be back tomorrow, 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern. Tuesday through Saturday, we break 3 o'clock Pacific all the way to about 11 o'clock Pacific. Five nights a week. All right. Good luck, everybody. We're almost there. We're getting there, folks. There's Todd Gurley. Possible MVP, 20 out of 50 going out to the Rams. That'll be for Derek.
We got Jonathan Allen for the Redskins. Nick Stanley with that parallel out of 299. And we got a green Tom Brady. That is three out of five. Green Tom Brady. That's a train whistle. That should perk some people up. Just perk, perk me up. Karen with the Patriots. A lot of crazy talk happening about the Patriots. It's being discussed, but all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. And the juice. O.J. Howard is your rated rookie autograph. That'll go to the Buccaneers. That also goes to Karen. That is last spot mojo. Nice one, Karen. Yeah, the Buccaneers are just sitting there for a while. There's Alshon Jeffrey, Eagles, out of 149. All right. Jake Butt, he's a tight end out of 149. Deshaun Watson, Cam Newton, randomizer, 61 out of 149. So since this is serial numbered, we will randomize this separately. Lamar Darbo for the Seahawks, that'll be for Ryan, 59 out of 99. There's Ryan Switzer. Nice. Three boxes to go, folks. Three boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Question for anybody who's still listening at the moment. Um, so the Raiders are going to be in Las Vegas, the first professional team in the last, or after the Golden Knights, the first professional sports team in Las Vegas. So NHL got in first. The Raiders will be there in a couple years. Um, the next sport, the next professional sport in Las Vegas, will it be baseball first or will it be basketball first? I don't know if either of those sports are interested in expansion per se. But maybe they will, 32, 32 teams maybe. But I have a feeling that that there's there's more of a likelihood for a for an existing baseball or basketball team to move to Las Vegas. Our Mike says says baseball. They already have a big. Uh, I mean, they got a Triple A team there in Vegas, so there's always a. There's already a baseball presence there that Vegas is used to. Chris Bryan is from Vegas, just out in the suburbs out of Vegas, and so is Bryce Harper. So there's some, some pedigree there as well. I think like the Maddox brothers, Greg and Mike Maddox, still, still live in Vegas. Maybe they grew up in Vegas too. Is Oral Hershiser from Vegas? Oral Hershiser might be from Vegas too. So there, there is some baseball history there. So Nick Stanley says maybe basketball. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's I think that's interesting. I I would lean basketball because I think that it might be an easier transition. You know, with baseball, you might have to build a big, uh, like you have to build a brand new stadium, right? With with uh, basketball, they can just use the the T-Mobile Arena that the Las Vegas Golden Knights use to play hockey. So there might be a little bit an easier of a transition there. Twelve out of ninety-nine, Kirk Cousins. That's for Nick. Sixty-one out of one ninety-nine, Chris Godwin. That is for Karen.
Bambi. That's what they called Lance Allworth. 31 out of 99 for the Bolts. That's for Brian Berry and the Bolts. There's Gary Ann Conley for the Raiders. 13 out of 149. Disappointing season for my Raiders. A lot of defensive issues. There's Elijah Hood. I think there's some health issues and whatnot. Any guesses on this redemption? For bragging rights? Everyone likes to guess, right? Ryan Tannehill, already named starter, I think. 11 out of 50. For the Dolphins, that'll go to Ronald. Latavius Murray, out of 199. There you go. Left for dead in Minnesota, but making most of the opportunity that Dalvin Cook afforded him. Out of 299, Brian Hoyer. If you're looking for the super fractor of Brian Hoyer, we already pulled it. Um, everyone's saying Kareem Hunt. R. Mike saying Hunt. Death saying Hunt. Brian K saying Hunt. What say you, Redemption? What say you? It is Cooper Cup. Rated Rookies Autograph Cooper Cup for the Los Angeles Rams. Derek Slavic with the Rams. The Ramily. So there's your autograph right there. All right. Final two boxes. Jordan's asking if that prison basketball is going to go. I don't know. A ask the people in the room. I don't know. I have no idea. It could. It couldn't. But it's not up to me. It's up to the, the, the community here that's watching right now. I'd like it to go. I've got a, I'm, I'll have about, by the time I'm done with this, I'll have about, a 40, about 45 minutes left in the broadcast. So definitely enough time for a 20-minute prison basketball break. So what do you think, folks? Should we do another three-box break of prison basketball? Fun, quick, easy to do. A lot of monster hits in there. Here are the last two boxes of this, because we'll be done soon. I'll have all this packed away, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be asking you the same, asking everybody, what should we do next, if anything? I have to admit, Jordan, that, that the uh, the momentum has slowed down a little bit in the last couple hours of the broadcast. We go from three o'clock Pacific to eleven o'clock Pacific, so this is we're pretty much at the end of close to the end of our night. But I've seen stranger things happen. Usually, in a break like this, people kind of know they're like, "Oh, okay, we've got an hour this hour break. I'm going to go away for an hour and then come back," and they'll check in after then. And then see what uh, what else what other things are going. So I usually like to wait until the end of the break and see what happens. John Picard saying, um, "No, no, it is not a ten buck break. I'm afraid it's a three box. It's a three box pick your team break on jazbeeshobbyland.com. There are a lot of teams around that price though. And you have a shot at break credit as well if you join those prison basketball breaks, which is tonight only. I may roll it over till tomorrow, but the 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 amount." may shift up or down, or to zero, you never know. But once I'm done with this break, we'll have plenty of time to do a three box break of prison basketball. That would be a nice way to end the night. A lot of monster hits in there. I mean, even just a just a silver prism parallel of the of, of just the right rookie can can get you enough value on a secondary market to pay for a transcendent baseball spot. Right, let's open up the second box and then we'll fly through both boxes, the final two boxes here. Good luck, everybody. We've got another case of optic football in the store right now. JaspiesHobbyland.com. So be sure to check that out. I'm sure, um, I mean, we've been doing at least one a day 
you know, for for a little while. So I, we're, we're, we're going through a lot of these cases very nice. That seems like that's what we're averaging. So I'm sure another one will be ready to go early tomorrow when we come back at 3 o'clock Pacific, at three, uh, 6 o'clock Eastern. I'm sure one will be almost close to being ready there. And if we fill that up quickly, then there's a good shot we can do a second case like we did tonight of Optic Football. But that'll be for tomorrow. That Contenders break... There's still some teams left there, but that will be one we will do early tomorrow. And once again, I mean, we will have about, what, 45 by the time I'm done with all this, about 45 minutes left in the break or left in the broadcast, left in the show. So we'll see what people might want to squeeze in at the very end of the evening. But it's all up to you, folks, all in your hands. If you want to, if you're like, Joe, I have the itch, I want, I, I, I want to scratch it with a break. I would suggest that Prism Basketball is probably your best bet at the moment. It's, it's short. It's pretty close to filling up. A lot of inexpensive teams there, too, that can be picked up, and a chance at break credit. So that seems to be the most ideal, in my opinion. Deshaun Jackson at $2.99. Now, I've seen, I've seen crazy things happen where someone will buy, like, a huge chunk of spots in a completely different break and say, all right, you know, I got eight spots in this. Who's with me? So we've seen that happen too. So never know what's going to happen here at Jaspie's Hobbyland. Like this, Ryan Switzer, green. That's another train whistle. Two out of five. Michael Butler with the Cowboys. No ink on that, but still a train whistle nonetheless. Congrats, Mike. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Nice way to close out this break. There's Mike Williams again at a 149. And Juju Smith Schuster is our second to last autograph. Nice. Rated rookie on card auto for the Steelers. Daniel Patera with that one. Nice, Daniel. I feel like you've been having a nice few breaks recently. 83 out of 150. This could be a big game for him uh, in a couple weeks. Oh, these were our parallels. Sorry. This is where we're going next. There's Tavon Austin for the Rams out of 199. There's James Conner, rated rookie orange, out of 199. Here's the last bit of our second to last box. Breezy, Jabril Peppers, 28 out of 99. Looks like things are getting too spicy for the pepper. Danelle Pumphrey, rated rookie, 147 out of 299. There you have it. All right, and the last box. There's Jared Goff to lead things off. There's Devonta Freeman. That's who he'll be facing on a 199, the Falcons. Dirty Birds going to Michael Butler. Looking for one more autograph out of here. Maybe more if... This box blesses us with a bonus. Joe Williams, the rookies insert 109 out of 149. Bottom right-hand corner on that one. Joe Mixon, that's a parallel. Out of 299 for the Bengals, Joseph Johns. And, wow, Juju Smith-Schuster. And then a rated rookie on-card auto of Patrick Mahomes. He's looking like he could be the future in the quarterback position for the Chiefs. That goes to Yesenia Lugo with the Mahomes. 88 out of 99. That's a very nice way to close out this break. Let's see what other parallels we have. So that's our last autograph. I'm going to do a few randomizers at the end right here too. There's Beast Mode. There's Leonard Fournette. I don't think we've seen a lot of Leonard Fournette autographs in this yet. 3 out of 50 for the Jaguars. Mark Glassman. It's got to be here soon, though. I, I can feel it. 
We have a run on the Fournette autographs. 142 out of 149 on the Gridiron Kings, Todd Gurley the second, and the break is over. We did it. We made we made it. Just about an hour, a little just a little over an hour, which I predicted. There's the nice one of one Dalvin Cook that we got very early on. So that was a nice way to start the break. And let's randomize some stuff here. All right, so let's go to, let's go back to our list. We want to get some random.org action happening here. Let's get some dice. We need a left-right randomizer. We need to randomize that illusions card, the points, and then the transcendent winner. So that's the left-right illusions card. This one is uh, the illusions that was actually serial numbered out of 199. Deshaun Watson, Texans, and Panthers, Cam Newton. For the points, winner take all on the points, and there's just one winner. Everyone has a shot at the uh, 150 and 250 points. And right here, let's sort by your first name. If you bought at least two teams, you get one entry to try to win a transcendent baseball spot. So Brian Berry has a chance. Daniel Patera has a chance. James has a chance. Karen, she has a chance. She blocked a couple people too. Mark has a chance. The other Mark, both Marks have a chance. Michael has a chance. Nick Stanley has a chance. He blocked some people too. Ronald has a chance. Royal for Speed, Steve, and Victor. So out of 16 potential spots, only 12. We have a 1 out of 12 chance. Oh, nice. Yeah, definitely happy with the Mahomes auto. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. And we'll get that right there. So winner for the transcendent spot. We'll see who gets that. Okay, let's roll the dice. We're going to randomize all of those lists. Four and a four, eight the hard way. What's up, Jordan? What's going on? Eight the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right side for all those regular illusions cards. So all the teams on the right side will get them. This one was serial numbered. It was 61 out of 149, so we'll randomize this separately. Number four to four, eight times, Texans, Panthers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Flips to the Texans after eight times. And that is for Brian Berry with the Houston Texans. There you have it, winner take all on the points. Once again, eight times for the names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Ronald Held with a little, uh, I don't know if I called your number, I'll break Ronald, but at least you walk away with a little consolation. All right, and the big one here, It's a one, this is a $155 value, these transcendent baseball spots that we're giving away in optic football and flawless baseball on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So once again, four and a four, after eight times, the name on top, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, an eighth and final time. Name on top gets a transcendent baseball spot, and that will be congrats to Steve Fries. Even though he's a, a dirty, dirty Broncos fan, congrats to you, buddy. I appreciate you getting into the breaks, man. And uh, seriously, congrats. Great break for you. And you're in on transcendent baseball on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So thanks very much, everyone. This is Joe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.